Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get you a blanket, get you a pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on a big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana, the gypsy psychic. Yay! What's going on, kids? What's happening with you guys? How is the bull tribe doing? How's everybody? How's everybody rolling, Taurus? How's it going for you these days, huh? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to throw some cards for Taurus, and we're going to find out exactly what's going on. Thanks to my new fancy schmancy prologue that y'all just heard, I don't have to describe anything, and I'm just going to get straight into it. So give me a second to channel, and we're going to see what it is that uh, the universe has to say for Taurus, okay? All right, give me a second to channel. Spirit. Source universal energy i have the collective of taurus with me spirit taurus i have the collective with me and they want to know what you know what do you know about whomever it is that you're trying to touch and what is it that they need to know about themselves their lives and their futures Spirit, what's coming towards this Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight there, straight from the top. That feels perfect. All right, let's cut these cards and see what they have to say. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Right on. We'll probably have like repeating when we get over here, but whatever. All right, let's do it. We are going to clarify with the good old school rider weight. All right, so, and these are, for those that even care, these are the Tarot Illuminati. All right, all right, all right, all right. they're pretty cards. I like them. I have two sets of them, the other ones right here, right? I have uh, two sets of these cards. This is actually one of the very first sets that I ever... Um, that I ever got. This is the first set, actually. Honestly, these cards have given so many tarot card readings, I can't even tell you. And look, they're holding up, right? They're, they are. They're holding up. So, okay. So, the Princess of Pentacles, Manifestation, or an invitation, whatever it is, it's uh, surrounding your sense of well-being, some kind of... Um, sense of well-being, right? I mean, put in there whatever your sense of well-being is. Okay. I wasn't asking for that, so we're not going to take that. All right. Let's see. Princess of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me what this opportunity or offer is. The star in reverse. Whatever it is, ain't in your best interest. What else? What else? The tower in reverse. Is this averting disaster or is this some kind of massive transformation out of um, an implosion of some sort? I think it might be a transformation, the tower in reverse. Is it? A, okay. What do we got? Oh, it's avert disaster. Okay. Emotionally checked out. Uh, emotional um, apathy. The Page of Swords in Reverse talks about all talk, no action, undelivered promises. And look at that, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Tell me one more about this. Lack of success with the Six of Wands in Reverse. Okay, so... This is a general reading, right? So take it with a grain of salt, okay? 
princess of the the tarot is not supposed to be transmitted to an auditorium full of people, right? It's an intimate one-on-one -on -one divination tool, so take it for what it's worth, all right? Princess of Pentacles, there is a new opportunity. The star in reverse comes on top of this and says, don't take it. <laughs> star in reverse is about not purposeful. So there's a new opportunity that is manifesting in your life. And the star in reverse says, this is not the purpose, the path, or the way. Tell me one on the star, please. Just one. Yep. The hangman. Reconsider this whole thing. Okay. Why? What's going on? Well, the tower in reverse says avert disaster. The tower in reverse is also about a personal transformation, and that's going to be explained a little bit down here. You hear my dog? He's having a dream. Okay, that will be explained a little bit down here. Okay, so avert disaster. What's the disaster? Well, there's two stories here, okay? One of the disasters is um, the it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises with this page of swords, right? In reverse. But preceding that is the Four of Cups in reverse. And what this Four of Cups in reverse says, it says, do not invest any emotions in this situation at all in any way whatsoever. Page of Swords in reverse says, it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. What is that? The Ten of Pentacles, some kind of money, security, job offer, contract in exchange for some kind of compensation. And that can go all the way from marriage to uh, change in tires, right? Compensation for some kind of contribution is what you're being offered. Okay, it can be anything in your life, whatever hits for you. Right. So whatever it is that someone is offering you and it appeals to your sense of well-being. OK, emotionally check out of that. It's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The Ten of Pentacles that they're promising you, Six of Wands in reverse, says there will be a lack of success and a lack of reward here. There will be. OK. All right. So whatever that is for you, take that into consideration. The moon in reverse. Why? Why is this a bad thing? Why is this not in your best interest? Well, the moon in reverse. The moon in reverse talks about having to come to some kind of really, really, really serious understanding within yourself about a battle between your emotions. The moon card is about the proverbial struggle of the human being between that which we know to be true and that which we really wish wasn't true, right? So the moon in reverse, major arcana, which would be the advice in the situation, is come to terms with some kind of struggle inside of you to the Knight of Pentacles um, about your stability, about your safety. Um, sometimes this card is about just keeping on, keeping on in the direction that you're going. Tell me, please. Yeah. Yep. Look. Yep. Keep going the way that you're going. Come to terms with the struggle inside of yourself about this opportunity that seems like maybe a good opportunity, but Spirit's telling you, go past it, okay? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's not going to work out. Five of Wands in reverse, um, the avoidance of responsibility, the devil, some kind of toxicity to the Five of Pentacles. So whoever's making you a deal over here, whether it's a job, um, a relationship, a babysitter agreement, uh, moving in, paying you some rent, um, um, the sale of your house, what Ever kind of opportunity that you are being presented with that you have to really check yourself inside of your soul in that moon card, right? Whatever opportunity you're being presented with, you are going to get completely and totally screwed over in the end. I don't know how else to say that. I mean, it's like a straight up kind of thing. Okay. Princess of Wands, exploration, discovery, excitement, um, and possibly messenger queen of cups okay so you have some kind of feelings vested in this situation and the six of cups in reverse comes on top of this and talks about stuck in the past um unable to reconcile the past to the page of wands page of wands page of wands right interesting 
Give me one more about this, please. And all of these pages here, this could be someone younger than you, okay? Well, no matter if it's a younger boss, a child, a younger person, whatever. But I get a big feeling of immaturity a little bit, okay? Um, let's see. Yep, to the Nine of Wands in reverse. If you explore this, if you go in this direction, it you're going to wish that you didn't because the Nine of Wands in reverse is wishing that he didn't, right? <laughs> He's like, oh my God, I can't believe I signed up for this, okay? The Hangman in reverse, Major Arcana, right? Advice in the situation is resistance, stalling, delays. That's the Hangman in reverse, resistance, stalling, and delays. So what's the advice? Resistance to the Chariot. Roll forward. Keep going. Whatever you're doing in your life right now is absolutely what it is that you're supposed to be doing in your life right now. It is. Whatever you're doing now, not this, okay? Whatever you are doing, if this is happening for you now, whatever you were doing right before this, all right? If this is about to happen to you, then whatever you're doing right now, okay? If this is like I said, happening. Yeah, I already got happening, right? Um, and if this has happened in your past, maybe you wish you would have done this, okay? <laughs> Nothing I can do about the past. I can only forewarn you about the present and the future, okay? All right. So the chariot, spirit says, hey, put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination to keep going in the direction that you're already going. King of Swords in reverse. Um, this is filled with manipulation, um, dishonesty all over it. Five of Cups in reverse, just move on. Move on. Keep going. Loss, regret, despair, disappointment. Chalk it up as an L and move on down the road to the Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse talks about a third party situation. Third party situation. Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, deceit, justice in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. All right. So what's going on here is that they're telling you ultimately in the end that you are going to get screwed on this. How are you going to get screwed on this? Well, your lying, cheating situation or circumstance with the King of Swords in reverse. Move on with the Five of Cups, right? Three of Cups in reverse, third party situation, interference of some sort. Um, obvious for a relationship, right? But it also could be children. It could be family members interfering in a relationship. It could be co-workers interfering in a relationship. It could be um, that somebody is hiring you and they don't have your salary approved yet with the higher ups third party situation. So third party situation, right? There is some, there's too many cooks in the kitchen right here. And that's why it's backfiring. The seven of swords, there is betrayal and deception happening. Justice in reverse. It's an injustice to you, to the six of pentacles. And it, it will affect your, um, your money, your, your security, your sense of well-being. Um, it will affect it. Okay. All right. All right. So don't do it. The Ace of Wands in reverse talks about uh, frustrations and delays to the Two of Cups in creating some kind of ideology of what you think this opportunity is going to be. Okay. You are on the positive because the Two of Cups is right here, right? You're like, cool, new union, new relationship, new thing I got going on here right? Ace of Wands in reverse talks about um, no combustion behind it though, right? Two of Cups in reverse um, and it is misaligned. To the Page of Wands in reverse, do not engage. To the Hangman, take a step back, reevaluate situation and come out on the other side with a new perspective, okay? Is this giving me shadow under my eyes right here? Hold on a minute, y'all. Hold on, let's see. Oh, that's terrible. That's good. We'll do that one. Okay. All right. The star in reverse in the center of the reading. I mean, it's just like keeps going on and on and on about how terrible this is until we get down here. When we get down here, the story shifts a little bit. So let's just talk about how much more terrible this is. Okay. The star in reverse. It is unpurposeful for your path or your purpose. 
queen of swords in reverse. There is just like that king of swords in reverse. There is dishonesty. There um, may have been an argument between the two of you, or maybe there will be a huge argument between the two of you, but it is um, not truthful. Whatever's going on. Ten of Wands, it will cause you a burden. Death, put it to an end. Walk away from it right now so you can continue a transformation. Okay? That's why when we get down here, that'll explain. That's why they're telling you so strong over and over and over again for what, like, like 10 minutes now, right? That, um, don't do this. This is bad for you. Don't do this. This is bad for you. Don't do this. This is bad for you. Why? Well, because you, whatever you're doing, remember up here, they said, keep going in the direction that you're going. Keep doing what it is that you're doing now, right? Why? Well, because whatever you're doing is actually feeding the wheel of fortune. Whatever you're doing is actually feeding the divine orchestration of the steps of your life, okay? One step at a time, right? So you're on the right track and you're pro, per, per, so you're on the right track and your um, propulsion is leading you to your best and highest good. It says keep keep on keeping on, okay? What's the weakness though? What's the weakness with strength in reverse? Strength in reverse is about a lack of courage. Um, how do we gain courage and strength? Well, we uh, identify our own personal issues and we take control of them. Um, the nine of wands in reverse is about uh, obligation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Once you get caught up in this, um, you're going to be obligated to it somehow, some way. And it's going to be a buzzkill. It's going to be a total and complete buzzkill. Five of cups in reverse. Move on. Three of pentacles. The teamwork and the collaboration that you think you're going to get from this situation isn't going to happen. King of swords. Make responsible decisions and see the situation exactly for what it is. Death. Put an end to it and move the fuck on. Just move on. Okay. Five of pentacles. Right? Fucked broke, rejected, okay? Justice, what's in your best interest? Knight of Cups in reverse, turn this down. Five of Wands in reverse, uh, have an increased focus on your goals, okay? Turn this down, stop being conflicted about it, and begin to focus on the Page of Pentacles, manifesting someplace else, possibly a second offer, okay? Um, Begin to man manifest someplace else. Ace of Pentacles in reverse because you're not going to get any kind of a return on your investment here. This is a lost opportunity. Just keep going. Temperance. Pull yourself together and be balanced and continue forward. I forgot about this Wheel of Fortune over here, right? So the Wheel of Fortune on top of the Death card, on top of all of the other stuff talks about turning point in your life. You're almost there. I mean, you're headed if you haven't experienced them already. And it's amazing when you do, right? You're headed there. Whatever you're doing, keep focused on it. Okay. Temperance, pull yourself together, get it together. Seven of swords in reverse, break free from a futile mentality. Knight of swords, begin to execute in your mind what you know to be right, good, true, and proper for you in this particular situation. Two of Wands in reverse. Don't be afraid of the future. Don't be afraid to be alone. Don't be afraid to go out on your own. Um, don't be afraid to start that business. Don't be afraid to start those court papers. Don't be afraid to, to conquer your future. To the Eight of Pentacles. Work, engage, build, keep doing what it is that you're doing. You are compounding your lessons from the past and you are beginning to have a, a, not, or a, a an initial or an, an, another one for those of us who like live this on the daily, okay? Um, you are about to have a huge breakthrough in your life, a huge breakthrough because your free will has been pointed in the direction of understanding your best and highest good through your intuition and your spirituality. Straight up, okay? The sun. 
You are on the path to happiness, success, and vitality. Please see very, very, very clearly justice in reverse that engaging in this opportunity will take you off track and be a lack of accountability for the path that your soul knows that you need to be on in this lifetime. Okay? Okay. Five of swords in reverse. Let go. Let go of this. Let go of this. This white knuckle mentality on whatever this is for you. It just let go of it. Okay? The fool. Because there's so much better for you out there. So much better for you. There is a brand new beginning and a brand new journey like boom, like right around the corner for you. Don't let this piddly little thing up here um, take you off course. Okay? Don't let it take you off course. The King of Wands to the Princess of Swords. So this is someone communicating with you. So this is the person that is this new opportunity. This is the, the thing Okay, that is this new opportunity, the King of Wands. Success, the pursuit of achievement and success, being successful, conquering, achieving to the Princess of Swords. There is some kind of information, yet another page. We have so many pages here. If this person isn't younger than you, um, I would be shocked. Okay, but nevertheless, um, there is some initial little communication, King of Wands, about achievement and success somehow, some way. Princess of Cups in reverse talks about a creative block, okay? To the Ace of Swords in reverse, um, not seeing something clearly or some kind of truth not being shown. The Queen of Wands, um, you in your position um, of the other half of this little mound of energy we're talking about right here, right? So you got the other person and then there's you representing desire and motivation and inspiration right you're on fire kind of about this a little bit maybe but it's no good it's no bueno it's no bueno the prince of pentacles um talks about stability conservatism can conservatism um it talks about uh keep going headed forward um, just kind of like the chariot, but in slow motion, right? Just like, no, thank you, bro. And just keep on going, right? Why? Well, the Empress, this is you, Taurus. This is you. This is the card of Taurus. It's also the card of Libra, but we're talking about Taurus right now. So this is the card of you right here, the Empress. She is amazing. Do you know why she's amazing? Well, the Empress is lesson three, right? She comes from lesson one and two. She wouldn't be the Empress without lesson one and two. Lesson one is the magician. Where your mind goes, your reality becomes, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Your mind right now is being sidetracked and distracted by this opportunity that's being presented to you. And that's why they're like so adamant throughout this entire reading. Don't do this. Don't take this. Don't go in this direction. Why? Well, whatever it is you were manifesting before this offer is the direction that you're supposed to be going. The Empress understands that what she thinks about comes about. And right now what you're thinking about doing is going off track, right? So she comes from lesson two, the high priestess. What is that? Well, it's her intuition, right? The Empress is the third highest entity of the tarot because she combines lesson one and two in her mind constantly all the time. She checks her intuition and then she manifests accordingly. She checks her intuition, then she manifests accordingly, right? That's what you're doing. You are headed for this. Whatever kind of good shit that you have been doing on yourself, your personal growth, your self-growth, your relationships, your healing, whatever you have been doing with yourself, Taurus, you are on the right track and you're going in the right direction. Don't let this new opportunity be a stumbling block to your path. Queen of Cups in reverse. You're going to regret it. Six of Wands in reverse. There's a lack of success. Seven of Wands, um, the challenge for you, Prince of Wands, is to handle this interaction as the Empress would, right? 
Handle this interaction as the Empress would. You check your intuition. You look around your life and you see what it is that you've been manifesting for yourself. If your life is the way that you would want it to be, that means that you're probably manifesting in the right direction. If your life is not the way that you want it to be, that means that you are manifesting low vibrational bullshit into your life. So the challenge for you is going to be to follow your intuition with the High Priestess. That's your challenge, to follow your intuition in this situation because it will continue to lead you down the path of your best and highest good. Your intuition is your source energy calibrating your compass to point you in your true north. The soul was here way before the meat suit was here and it will be way after. It knows where you came from and where you're going. And it knows the best path for you to get there. And it's not this. Prince of Cups in reverse. Turn it down. Right? Turn it down. Fool in reverse. It's foolish. The Three of Wands have some foresight. The King of Swords in reverse. Someone's an asshole. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Not for you. Three of Cups. There's something better for you. Queen of Swords. Get your mind in the game. Get your mind in the game. Bypass this and you will be in the right place at the right time to do what's right for your journey and your path. Queen of Swords, get your mind in the game, right? See it for what it is and it'll take evaluation, take inventory of your life and say, is this shit going the way that I want it to go? Because if it's not, you have complete and total power to point your life in any direction that you want it to go. You can either keep perpetuating what you've always done and get what you've always gotten, or you can pull it together and go in a different direction. Queen of Swords, pull it together. The Devil in Reverse, detach yourself from toxic possibly something to do with your past okay detach yourself from the toxicity uh release your limiting beliefs what are your limiting beliefs i don't know maybe that this situation could be different this time maybe that this uh situation um is a means to an end but it's going to sound too good to be true and your intuition is going to tell you Six of Swords in reverse. Detach yourself and leave the mental baggage behind. Okay? Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, stop fighting the good fight. Ace of Cups. The feelings that you have here. The feelings that you have in this situation. Two of Swords in reverse are blinded. You're not seeing the reality of the situation because you're blinded by some kind of emotions. Excitement, gratitude, whatever it is. Um, but you're not seeing it. Two of Wands. Look into your future to the wheel in reverse. And do not let this be a stopping point to the path that you're on and the direction that spirit wants to take your life. Um, again, for your best and highest good. There you go, Taurus. Hope you liked it. Um, if you want your cards read, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. Namaste.